Taurus. Welcome back to Swimming Through the Void. Um, you guys, my camera's been acting up. I don't know what's going on, but I get, you know, 20 minutes into these videos and they just cut off. Um, so I'm going to rechannel this message for you guys here. I appreciate you tuning in. Um, Spirit wants you to know that you have already won. You cannot be defeated by anything in this life or the next. You are an overcomer. Okay. This is amazing energy for you guys. I've got all these cards down here. <clears throat> Just looked up and realized it had stopped recording. Who knows when. Um, but I am going to flip these cards back and then channel them as they came out. If that's even a thing that I can do right now. Um, connecting to your guys' energy during your meditation. Uh, I see that you're at sort of an energetic portal, a gateway. Um, sort of like an initiation here, a brand new beginning. And this is going to bring tons of stability, tons of balance. And this is going to be very abundant. Um, I feel like some of my Taurus are connecting with a uh, your soul tribe at this time. Or I'm getting something that it's very important to connect to your tribe right now. Maybe this isn't some sort of work venture or something that you have going on. But this is going to really help you along your way and I do feel like <clears throat> spirit is sort of putting people in your life that um, are supposed to be helping you in some sort of way happy Aries season you guys you got this Ram card and this morning song card this is really about taking this action this is a brand new year um, and a brand new beginning energetically as well for you my Taurus in the recent past, let's see, in the recent past, you guys, we have the Six of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Two of Cups, all right? So I feel like um, a lot of my tour, so I feel like Spirit sort of stepped in to help you work through these rough energies that you were going through. Um, there was a major ending to a cycle here. And in some sort of relationship, there was something, some sort of shakeup. Um, I feel like you just made the decision to sort of work through that spirit stepped in and said, here, we're going to help you work these things out with this temperance card and this world card. So some sort of big cycle ending. This could have been in work. It could have been in a relationship. It could have been a, a, a situation with somebody in your family. It could be different for everybody. Um, but spirit definitely stepped in and sort of is helping you get through this. In your current energy, you guys, I got you as the Knight of Swords <clears throat> and the, the Knight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Cups. So big change here for you, Taurus. And I really feel like you are deciding, you're gaining clarity and you're deciding to cut these things off that are, that are no longer serving you you're deciding to work through these energies you're deciding to you know move forward into this new cycle into this victory into this healing right here so that this balance can come in i see um you're also in your queen of cups energy so divine feminine really receiving really trusting your intuition receiving this abundance um <clears throat> being guided uh into this beautiful new energy here um, taking back control of your situation and your boundaries here. In your incoming energy, you guys, we've got the Knight of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Tower, the Four of Cups, the Three of Cups, and then you as the Empress Taurus. So the message I'm getting in your incoming energy here is that you are really gaining this clarity and making that decision to, to cut through these blockages, anything sort of causing these choppy waters, you're like, I'm not having it. For a lot of you guys, this is friends or friends or people in your circle that are draining you, that you are noticing, you feel you're in a bad mood whenever you connect with them. These are the situations that the universe is showing you right now that need to go. They're making things super heavy and here's this clarity for you right here spirit coming in like yo we got you very heavy um archangel michael presence in in you know your past few readings you guys so i'm really getting 
a lot is being exposed and coming to the surface. A lot of things that cause you sadness, grief, that drain you, that take your attention from, um, you know, being on your goal and on your family and on your health and, you know, well-being and all that. There's things that are taking your attention from that and you're just not playing it anymore, Taurus. Making these logical, smart decisions to move forward and only water these seeds that are going to bring an abundant harvest into your life. Um, this is the Empress. This is our divine feminine right here, you guys. This is stepping in, whether you're a male or a female, this is stepping into an energy of being open to receive, being vulnerable to change, taking the reins. This is sort of taking the reins on your reality um, and, and moving forward from a place of love here, my Taurus. So I'm going to see if Spirit has anything else they want out of this other deck here, this ethereal visions. Um, also, you guys, your guides are all around you, guiding you through this. You're... Uh, very intuitive and it seems like your crown chakra is like buzzing right now so really following your intuition and your gut all right because your guides are definitely with you they're definitely trying to give you this clarity and get you into this brand new energy and out these old cycles anything else for my beautiful Taurus, please spirit <clears throat> wow yeah the tower the Fool, the Judgment card, and the Six of Swords. These are almost all Major Arcana, three out of four cards. And then the Empress again, you guys. So double confirmation, you guys. This is a ton of abundance. This is your hard work paying off. This is self-love to the fullest. It's so, so much. I feel like my Taurus are, are radiating such bright light right now that it's affecting literally everybody around you so anybody stealing that light that shine right now it's really time to trust this guidance no matter how much you have put into these situations or relationships at least just for now spirit saying to release these things this is karma this is your destiny to step into this new energy here this is beautiful energy look at that Something's black. Something had, was blocking you, or is still blocking you, or you're having a hard time making this decision. But I feel like you're definitely getting this intuitive nudge. Spirit saying, "Trust, trust. Take that leap. Make that decision." All right. So this blockage clears. For some of you guys, this is past lovers um, that are still stuck in your energy. For some people, there's maybe children involved in these situations, and. Um, okay with the three cups yeah so for some of you this is um a children's your children's parent or something like that that's in your energy that's sort of causing these shakeups. and the universe is you know god is really coming through with temperance twice your angels okay coming through bringing this balance and making the impossible happen okay you guys this is that um, clarity a lot of you guys are probably actually getting clear cognizant downloads right now um so follow those trust them okay um the universe is coming in trying to make the impossible happen for you to work these miracles this is really really amazing energy i don't want to disconnect from it i'll just chill right here love it here chariot knight of cups moving forward making that offer uh healing you some of you guys maybe even have an offer coming in that you can't that you're not really seeing or appreciating because of these past situations and it could be multiple people taking from your energy here you guys this is really your spirit guides right here guiding you to take this action this this fast action that's going to get you out of this five of cups you're going to turn around and get your attention off these spilled cups you're going to turn around and notice that you got love right there my babies you got love right here right now and when you turn around and notice that you're gonna see the bridge over here to the castle you was trying to get to but you forgot because of this funky ass energy look <clears throat> let it go and i would never tell you guys something uh you know these these messages are for your highest good these are this is you know i'm channeling angelic frequencies this is not going to steer you wrong this is really trying to lead you into your ten of pentacles i feel like there's a lot of people that just want to take 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 from you taurus and it's blocking your blessings 
It's blocking your blessings. It's blocking your happiness. It's blocking you from working on yourself, really, because it's taking so much from you, leaving you drained. This is about resting and replenishing, you guys. Meditating and praying, contemplating, reflecting on what it is that you want to come in to your life okay and not what what it is that's that has you feeling sad and alone again you guys big emphasis on your angels okay connect with your angels you guys um you can contact me if you don't know how to do that and would like help with any of that or anything you guys um because it's coming through really prominently here we've got the star focusing on what it is that you want to come to fruition you guys it's about to be a new moon Write that shit down, meditate with it. Trust and believe, you guys, faith the size of a mustard seed and it's yours. So really, you know, we're in a magical happening right now. You know, just humor me and pretend with me and write this shit down that you wanna to come to fruition. You know, protect your energy, you know, any of this fuck boy, fuck girl energy that's sort of keeping you down. It's like, you are divine Taurus take your energy protect it it's sacred and put it towards what your dreams are let's grab you guys some romance angels yeah you guys being initiated here and what that means is that there's gonna be a decision that you need to make that's not gonna be fucking easy <clears throat> pay attention to the red flags release your ex separation wow 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 Okay, you guys, free yourself, religious factors, and past life relationship. And then we got separation again. So I can't make it up. This religious factors is literally saying, Taurus, for whoever I'm speaking to right now, you are being initiated. Let the people around you help you through this. Reach out. Um, you're not alone. But this is big, this is big. And you are being guided step by step. Spirits show me they're like holding your hand into this brand new energy, you guys. This is like wish fulfillment for real. Star, 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles. Um, let's grab you guys one last message out of this Shaman's Dream Oracle deck. And we'll tap out, you guys appreciate you guys tuning in if you feel so inclined i'd appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up drop me an emoji or a comment down below um the interaction is uh very helpful to the channel but also i love you know interacting with you guys we are all just walking each other home we're all on this journey together i'm right here with y'all going through it as well i just feel blessed that i'm able to channel these messages for you guys and hope that it, it touches somebody or helps somebody in some capacity. Um, bam. If you guys would like to book a personal reading, my all that information will be down in the description box below. We have for my Taurus. Wow, you guys, so much. So much wanting to come out. On the bottom, 11, this energetic portal right here, you guys, this gateway that we've been talking about, deep, quiet, prayer and meditation, ego death here. And what I'm getting from this card is that these situations, these old situations, that they're mirroring a part of your soul that maybe doesn't resonate. I'm also hearing, um, um, I'm actually seeing a contract being burnt. So somebody's in some sort of old contract that your angels are trying to renew with you into this sort of new energy. Something's not serving your soul anymore. Um, and this is about forgiving these situations, forgiving these people, forgiving yourself, Taurus, forgiving yourself. And actually, I'm going to read this card for you and we'll call it a day. Spirit, thank you so much for these messages. Forgiveness, <clears throat> making amends and recognition of our unity. Between us all, there is a thin veil appearing to be a space that separates us. We look through this veil and believe ourselves to be distinct from each other. We assume that our thoughts and our feelings are our own. We see bodies and objects in the spaces between them. So we engage the world in relationships between a duality of us and them. 
This veil serves as a mysterious illusion, making it so hard to believe in our inherent connection and unity. We can't always remember that what we do to somebody else, we at the same time do to ourselves. When we claw at the veil out of fear, anger, jealousy, or resentment, manipulate another, misuse our power, or allow someone's actions to diminish us, we create, we create a wound felt by many, not just those of us in the smaller direct relationship. Now is the time to examine where your actions have caused difficulty or harm to someone else and you are and also where you have been the recipient of harm. Regardless of what side you are on, it's important to take responsibility for he healing this rift by bringing love, compassion, deep listening and presence to whatever is not in harmony. Do this for you and for your own liberty as you become an unwitting hostage as you become an unwitting hostage once you take the role of perpetrator or victim, both positions of weakness. Let go of all your resentments, know your part in the dynamic, and make the appropriate amends with that newfound wisdom and understanding. Healing and forgiveness and mending what is broken in your world is a sweet, much-needed declaration of freedom. So... That is all I have for you, my beautiful Taurus. I appreciate you guys popping through, and I hope to see y'all on the next reading.